love is never gonna run dry, never gonna come up empty, now until the day I die unconditionally. Got your mama and me unconditionally. Hey everybody, this is Blaze with Blaze Guitar Lessons, and here I want to teach you how to play God, Your Mama, and Me by Florida Georgia Line. They are one of my favorite bands and or artists, and I just love them. So this is gonna be Florida Georgia Line is always pretty good if you're looking to learn to play new songs because a few of a few things. They're basically just chords straight through, they, they don't do a ton of picking or anything. Um, they also usually don't do a lot of chord variations. So like Luke Combs, um, someone like him when he has songs, like his are, you know, four chords that are like, let's say it's like C, A minor, F, G, right? That's from another song that, um, that you can uh, go and learn real quick on one of my videos. But, but also then during the chorus, he'll go like F, C, A minor, F, C, A minor. So he'll, he'll change it a lot. Um, whereas Florida Georgia Line is just going to be the same chords over and over. So I'm going to show you, and I'm going to put the chords in the description uh, as well so you can see those. But this is a great song to learn for beginners because as you saw, I was doing a lot of strumming. You don't have to do that in this song. So you can. I think, it, I think it's like how they do it if you listen to it. But I think it's, uh, you, but you can do, do it on a simpler version if that's easier for you. So just as a, I think one of the best things about playing guitar early on when you're learning is just to do things that give you like quick wins. And so this is going to be a song that will do just that. Excuse me. So here's how the song goes. All right. So it's it's in standard tuning. There's no capo, which I love because um, even though I don't mind having, playing with the capo, it's just nice that if you forget it or something, you can play songs without it. So the song is D. Okay. Then E minor. Then C add nine. G. So. And that's the strumming pattern for the verses. Now, they have two guitars playing during the verses. So, um, when, by the way, when I was first learning to play guitar, I hated it when they would have two guitars because I thought I had to have two guitars to play it. You don't. So you can just play the rhythm guitar and you'll be great. So they, you can do the single strums. So D, E minor, C add nine, G. Okay. Or you can play, they, they also palm mute it with one hand. So palm muting, is this part of your hand? You just put as low as you can on the on the guitar, and you play um, like right in front of the, the white part right here, and you just play. So it's D, E minor, C add nine, G. So it's that Sunday morning choir calling church doors open wide. That hallelujah shoot right through you, make you feel alive. That's how that goes. So. It's up to you which one you want to do. If you're like just beginning, it's probably easier to just do this. Or what you can do that will kind of make it nicer for people when you play it is you can play like the first verse, you can just play palm muting. All right. And then when you go to the second verse, um, then you can actually just you can do strums. Um, and the count is a little bit different for that, so I don't know if you noticed that. So it's like hold. So you hold it more, so. And then you hold it there for a little bit longer, and then you go to C add 9, G. So D, E minor, C add 9, G. That Sunday morning choir calling church doors open wide. That hallelujah shoot right through you, make you feel alive. Okay, so that's how that goes. So that's like almost couldn't be easier, right? Um, when you play the E minor, by the way, you can just leave your, your ring finger on uh, on the third fret, like your, from D. So that makes it a really easy transition um, if you want to do that. Um, I'm doing it just to show you. Normally, that's not how I would play it, but it's totally fine if that's how you want to. Um, yeah, you, you if you want to do that, so when you go from D to E minor, you'll just leave your ring finger anchored on the third fret on the B string. Okay, so just like, I don't know if you can see that right there. So, um, but then during the chorus, it's still the exact same chords in the exact same order. They just play it like. No, I'm always gonna be there for you. No one's ever gonna love you more than God. 
mama and me unconditionally. God, your mama and me unconditionally. So when you're when you go from the transition parts to it, you're not gonna play two, you're gonna end on the C at nine. So it's like, my love is. And then you go to D, okay? So that, that'll make it easier. Don't feel like every single time you have to go all the way from D, E minor, C add nine, G. You can go D, E minor, C add nine. So they cut out the, they cut out the last chord at the end of like each time when they're, when they're about to transition. So that'll make it easier. Um, and then during the bridge, again, it's the same exact chords, um, but the, the only difference is, is that at that point they're playing it like. Where you go, I'll be as strong as your shadow. You know, like that part. Wherever you go, baby, you know my love is. And so at that point, then when you go into the final chorus, you will play it more like, like you did the verses. You know I'm always gonna be there for you No one's ever gonna love you more than God, your mama, and me Unconditionally Okay, so that's how that goes. This is a great song. Um, I just love Florida Georgia Line <laughs> so much. But, um, but yeah, so it's super easy. Um, if you're having a hard time getting the strumming down or something, listen to them. Or just play it simpler. Like, it, it, it'll take you time if you're like brand new to be able to go up and down. And also to be able to go... That's down, down, up. Okay, down, down, up, down, 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 up. Okay, so listen to the song while you try and play it at first. If I ever can't figure out the strumming at first, I just listen to it and play it, and then I'm like, okay, how does, how does this sound? And you don't, again, you don't have to be exactly right, so just keep that in mind. One of the beautiful things about guitar is there's a lot of things that you can do that will kind of like mute other things out. So, um, and, and, and things are just, there's a lot that's open to interpretation. So it's great that way. But anyway, I hope you like this video. Let me know if you have any questions, um, if you, in the comments, or if there's any other songs you'd like me to play in, uh, to teach you in the future, let me know in the comments. And thanks, and I'll see you next time.